In this course, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started programming in Python. Now, Python is one of the most popular programming languages out there, and it's by far one of the most sought after for jobs. And so if you're trying to get a job or you're trying to, you know, automate your life or you're trying to write awesome scripts to do a bunch of different things, then Python's for you. Honestly, more and more developers every day are moving their projects over to Python because it's such a powerful and it's such an easy to use language. A lot of programming languages out there just aren't very beginner friendly. There's a lot of syntax. There's a lot of like little things that if you get wrong, the program will yell at you. Python is the complete opposite of that. You basically just type out what you want to do and Python does it. It's that simple. There's not a whole lot of syntax to learn. The learning curve is literally zero. You jump in, you can start writing your first program in seconds. In this course, I'm going to teach you guys everything you need to know to get started in Python. I designed this course especially for Python and each lesson has been specially designed with examples that will help you along the way. With so many people starting to learn Python, the question isn't why should you learn Python? The question is why shouldn't you? And I think for a lot of people, the reason they might not want to learn Python is because they're intimidated or they're afraid that it's going to be too hard. Trust me, I'm going to hold your hand through this entire course. We're going to talk about all the core concepts in Python. We're going to look at everything you need to know to start programming in Python and start being confident and start writing scripts and start writing programs that are awesome and doing cool things in your life. Anyway, I'm super pumped to be teaching you guys Python. I can't wait to get started in this course and I hope you guys stick around and follow along with the course and learn this amazing programming language. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to install Python onto your computer. And we're also going to install a text editor that we can use to write our Python programs in. So the first order of business is to actually install Python on your computer. So what we want to do is head over to our web browser and you want to go over here to this page. It's just www.python.org forward slash downloads. And on this page, there's going to be two buttons down here and it's just going to say download Python 3.6.3. And at least that's the version that I have right now or download Python 2.7.14. So here's the thing about Python. There's actually two major versions of Python that are in use currently. There's Python 2 and there's Python 3. So you can see over here, this is like 2.7.14. Um, basically any Python 2 version we would just refer to as like Python 2. And here's like the latest Python 3 version. And so there's these two versions that you can download. And the first thing we have to decide is which version do we want to download? And here's the basic difference. Python 2 is a legacy version of Python, which basically means that it's like an old version and it's not being like actively maintained or supported like officially by Python anymore. Python 3 is like the future of Python. It's like the newest version. It's the one that's getting actively maintained and supported. And so there's pros and cons to picking either one. Uh, a lot of people will say like Python 2 has been around longer and so there's more like libraries. There's basically just more Python code written in Python 2. And so therefore like there's a few more things that you can do in Python 2 than you can do in Python 3. But then again, Python 2 is not supported and you know, five or 10 years from now, probably no one's going to be using it. Um, Python 3, like I said, is like the future of Python. It's the newest version. It's the one that, you know, is sort of being maintained going forward. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys Python 3. So we're going to want to download Python 3. Now, here's the thing, like if you learn Python 3 or you learn Python 2, the differences aren't very big. There are a few differences in like some syntax and just some, you know, little things here and there. But if you learn Python 3, you'll be able to jump right in and code in Python 2 as well. Don't let anyone, you know, tell you that you have to learn one or the other. We're going to learn Python 3 just because it's, I think, probably the best for a beginner to learn. And so that's the one that we want to download. So I'm just going to click download Python 3 and we're going to go ahead and download this version. And when that's done downloading, I'm just going to head down to my downloads folder. And you'll see here, we just have this file. I'm just going to double click and we get this like Python installer. So I'm just going to click through here and we'll be able to install Python three on our computer. All right. When that's done installing, we can just close out of this and we should be good to go. So now we have Python three installed on our computer. The next step is we need to choose a text editor. So 
um, we're going to be writing a bunch of code. So we're going to need some, you know, environment or some program that we can write all that code in. And really, you can write Python in any text editor. You could write it in like Notepad or text edit. It doesn't really matter. But there are special text editors that are designed just for writing Python code. And these are called IDEs. And that stands for Integrated Development Environment. It's basically just a special environment where we can, you know, run and execute our Python code and it'll, you know, basically like tell us how we're doing. So if we're, you know, we, if we write something that's wrong or we have errors, it'll kind of point us in the right direction of what we need to do to fix that stuff. So in this course, we're going to be using an IDE and one of my favorites and one of the most popular IDEs for Python is called PyCharm. So I'm over here on this website. It's called jetbrains.com forward slash PyCharm. And this is the IDE that we're going to be using in this course. So I'm just going to come over here and click this big download now button and we'll go ahead and download this PyCharm program. All right. So I'm getting this page over here. You can see there's two versions of PyCharm. One is a professional version and that one's like paid. So you have to pay for it. But then there's this community version down here and that's free and open source. So I'm just going to download this one and this should have everything we need to get started using Python. All right, when that finishes downloading, I'm just gonna pull that up in my downloads folder. And again, we can just sort of run this guy and I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna have to drag it over to my applications folder. All right, so we now have PyCharm and we have Python 3 installed on our computer. So we're ready to start programming in Python. In this tutorial, we're going to create our first Python program and we're going to be able to run it and see how everything works. The first thing I want to do is open up PyCharm. So PyCharm was the IDE, the integrated development environment that we downloaded in the last tutorial. So I'm just going to go ahead and search for it on my computer and I can just open it up. And when we first open up PyCharm, we should basically just get a window prompting us to create a project. So you can see that down here. Actually, the first thing I want to do though is come over here to configure and I'm just going to click on preferences and I actually want to change the appearance. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a theme. So I just went over here to appearance and behavior appearance and I'm going to change the theme to Darkula just because I think it's a little bit easier to use and look at, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And so down here, I'm just going to click create new project and it's going to give us this little window right here so I can just name my project and I'm just going to name this draft. And then there's this other option down here where it says interpreter. Now, what we want to select is Python version three. So if I click down here, you'll notice that there's a couple different options. So I'm on a Mac computer and by default, Mac has Python version two installed on it. If you're on a Windows machine, I'm not sure if it does, but in this tutorial, we're going to be using Python 3. So you want to make sure that you have Python 3 selected as the interpreter. Otherwise, uh, you might not be able to fully follow along with what we're doing in this video. So now I'm just going to come down here and click create, and this is going to go ahead and create our project for us. All right, so now we have our Python project up and running, and I want to show you guys how we can create our first Python program. So over here in this draft folder, and this is just that project that we created, I'm just going to right click and I'm going to say new and I'm going to come down and click Python file. So we want to create a new Python file. This will be our first Python program and I can just give this a name. So why don't we just call this app and I'm just going to click OK. All right. So now we have our first Python file open and we can just start typing in some Python. So I want to show you guys just a very basic Python program. And this is just going to be a hello world program. So we're just going to print something out onto the screen. So what I, what I want to do is I want to type out P R I N T print and I want to type in open and closed parentheses. Now inside of this parentheses, we can make some quotation marks and inside of the quotation marks, I'm just going to type out hello world. So this is like a very basic Python program. And what this is going to do is it's, it's just going to print out hello world onto the screen. And so now what I can do is I can actually run this file and we're actually getting a little error here. It wants us to 